And then the question goes on. If I don't have it, I think that means the Holy Spirit, then is there anything I can do to have it? I have faith in Yeshua. I believe he died for the elect, but I'm not sure one of his, uh, I'm not sure I'm one of his elect. I've asked and even begged God for the Holy Spirit or for my heart to be changed. I just don't feel any different. This is a problem of feeling. And I think that this is one of the big problems we have with the Pentecostal movement is that the idea of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit is a feeling that we have. It's not. Now, there might be feelings that come along with our belief and with our practice and with following after the Lord. But the point is, is that the indwelling of the Holy Spirit is not some euphoric state that you all of a sudden reach. The fact that you're striving after and begging the Lord for the Holy Spirit, what does Luke say? If a, if a child asks his father for a present, will, he, will the father give him, I'm paraphrasing, give him a rock? Will he give him a serpent? Certainly not. How much more will your father give you the Holy Spirit if you ask for it? Okay, so the point is, is that what do you think, what is your expectation of getting the Holy Spirit? Does that mean that everything's going to be great and you're going to feel indwelled and this euphoric feeling of, of the Holy Spirit indwelling you? I don't think so. I think what it means is that we now struggle we struggle constantly against sin. Having the Holy Spirit is a struggle because it is a struggle to be sanctified. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and check out more videos from Messiah Matters. Messiah Matters.